Now, yesterday, we talked about how the Ravens and Lamar Jackson were in such a weird spot. Things were just, it, it was weird. All, all, with all the reports, not, and, and again, I know some people are going to think that what we were talking about was just based off of this whole not showing up for the treatments thing, but it wasn't. It wasn't. This, the, the stuff that has been being put out about Lamar Jackson from media, from even people that cover the Ravens and have been covering the Ravens for a long time. It's just been very, very weird. And it's been seeming like they've been trying to paint a bad picture of Lamar Jackson just to try to sort of prepare the, the fan base for what could possibly happen this offseason. But it took a, another weird turn this morning. Mike Preston! <laughs> Mike Preston. About four or five days ago, uh, he put out an article. Uh, he does this thing where he, his readers of his articles from the Baltimore Sun, uh, they can send him in questions and he will answer them in article format. Um, and let's just read the question from a couple days ago. It said, Mike, I didn't catch the whole show, but you seem to imply this morning on the radio that Lamar was not being as diligent as perhaps he should with his injury rehab. Is this correct? This troubling to you? Indicative of something deeper? Consistent with Skip Bayless' report a while back about Lamar being unhappy? I sure hope not. With him engaged, they can make a run, make the tournament, and then one game at a time. So, this is how Mike Preston answered back, again, this was like four or five days ago. Maybe longer at this point. But anyway, um, he said, Sean, it's no secret to any of the coaches or top members of the front office that Jackson is a slacker. This is what Mike Preston said, that Jackson is a slacker and needs to have more due diligence in getting adequate rest, eating a healthy diet, being alert in meetings and workouts and getting proper rehabilitation instructions. I don't know if Jackson is happy or unhappy about his present situation, and I am not concerned about what some other media members think. He needs to work harder now. Here's the bottom line. To borrow one of Ray Lewis's favorite phases. At this time, regardless of how well any of the backups play, the Ravens' best chance of winning and advancing in the postseason is to get Jackson healthy and ready to play again. Jackson isn't the type who is going to come out and play well as soon as he steps on the field. His history shows that it's going to take a game or two uh, to round back into form. So I'll say it again. Jackson needs to get over the complex Excuse me, Jackson needs to get over to the complex on a regular basis, listen to trainers, rehab, and prepare for the last game or games of the regular season. So that, that was the part right there that had people like, whoa, hold up, what, 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 what did he just say? Well, what did he just write, really? Because, I mean, you could just read it over again. But anyway, that was a part that had a lot of people like, huh? You Because you can't just slip something like that in there without it being questioned. Even though yesterday was the day where it really picked up steam because I guess... Um, people, when it comes to a, a, a report versus people actually hearing somebody talk about it, that's when it really starts picking up steam. Because this, this, again, this article had been out for like four or five days, maybe even six. It's been out for a little while. Uh, but then yesterday, when they brought it up on 105.7, that's when it really started picking up steam. So people had seen this already. I had actually sent it to my guy, uh, yeah, a little less than a week ago. I sent it to my guy because I saw it and I was like, oh, what? that's weird. Um, and, and it's just the, the timing of everything is just, again, it continues to be weird. But it got that much weirder today. Uh, and let's read Mike Preston's article from today at 530 in the morning, bright and early. Mike Preston said, I'm getting up early. I'm getting this out. Let's get it. So the, and it, when you go to BaltimoreSun.com. It is, it's the headline article. So it's right there for the world to see. But anyway, um, the title says, Mike Preston, Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson working diligently on track to return this season, source says. So this article from this morning is the exact opposite. It, like literally the exact opposite of what he wrote a couple of days ago. So I'll say it again. Um, this is from a couple days ago. So I'll say it again. Jackson needs to get over to the complex on a regular basis. So that was implying that Jackson does not get over to the complex on a regular basis. Uh, listen to the listen to the trainers rehab and prepare for the last game of the regular seasons. And again, remember, he also called Jackson a slacker and, and said it's no secret to any of the coaches or top members of the front office that Jackson is a slacker. So. 
Slander at his finest? Hey, who knows? But anyway, well, I mean, y'all know because y'all we just read it together. Yes, it's slander. But back to the new article from this morning. So, uh, injured star, injured Raven star quarterback Lamar Jackson has regularly. Injured Raven star quarterback Lamar Jackson has regularly attended prescribed rehabilitation and treatment procedures for his knee and is on target to return within the four to six week recovery window as far as team trainers and physicians are concerned, according to a league source. So this now is it's literally the exact opposite of what he wrote, because, again, I got to go back to the original article. He said Jackson needs to get over to the complex on a regular basis. He needs to. So again, with everything that he wrote in that previous article, it implied that Jackson was a slacker and that he was not getting to the, uh, the, the complex on a regular basis. But now, a complete 180. Injured Raven star quarterback Lamar Jackson has regularly attended prescribed rehabilitation and treatment procedures for his knee and is on target to return within the four to six week win recovery window as far as team and trainers and physicians are concerned according to a league source so um that's strange that he would originally say that but then he did a remix and like literally change it to this now i wonder one thing that i was thinking about because you know lamar jackson he be seeing stuff lamar, lamar jackson be seeing all that stuff he, and he got his people they could see stuff too i wonder if he got pressed or possibly maybe maybe they floated the word defamation around defamation of character because Mike Preston he put it out hey it's no secret Lamar Jackson is a slacker so I wonder if Lamar and his camp was like mm, excuse me Mr. Preston uh you may want to ease up on that article buddy you, you may want to fix this you may want to correct your tune on this on Lamar Jackson because those things are not true. And you're painting this man in a bad light, especially to the public. And they're running with it. Because, again, the article had been out for a while. But then again, when it was on the radio yesterday, when they were talking about this whole situation yesterday on the radio, that's when it just it picked up a whole lot of steam. So I wonder if that's it. Because it's just, it's weird. And it's funny because I've been seeing people say, hey, see, look. Ha, see, uh, Lamar Jackson hasn't been missing any uh, rehab workouts or anything like that. See, and they're like, I, I told you so. See, see, why, why, why did y'all get all hyped in the first place? Why did y'all get all crazy over this in the first place? Relax. But at the same time, hold it, it, you, I don't think you can relax because it's literally the same exact person that wrote the article. It's the same exact person that wrote both articles. The same exact person. This is crazy. Anyway, let's continue. Now, another thing that was in there, that just that first paragraph alone, He's on target to return within the first four to six week recovery window. That was different uh, on what we were led to believe um, from Adam Schefter. Because Adam Schefter originally reported that the PCL, um, the PCL injury was one to three weeks. But now Mike Preston is saying four to six. So uh, I remember when we did a video about uh, the Lamar Jackson, his just being concerned with the injury and whatnot. Um, and I talked about how I wonder if the injury is actually a little worse than we were led to believe. Uh, and I mean, hey, <laughs> he ain't played yet, so I guess so. Uh, but anyway, um, mm, what a turn of events. But let's keep going. Let's continue. He said the source wouldn't make a prediction about when Jackson would step back on the playing field, but said the quarterback has been perfect in his attendance. And compliant with all recovery practices as he recovers from a knee sprain he suffered in the first quarter against the Denver Broncos. Again, complete 180. Literally, literal complete turnaround of everything that he said not even a week ago. Complete, like literally complete opposite. Anyway, that Jackson hasn't practiced since the injury, missing his 10th straight session on Wednesday as the Ravens prepare for Sunday night game against the visiting Pittsburgh Steelers. You know, maybe I, did, I haven't noticed it with other quarterbacks or other teams or something. I, I have never seen uh, people, like, count the exact number of practices that somebody missed. I, they, all, they, of course, count games. Oh, he ain't practiced this week or he ain't playing this week. He's out this week. Okay. I, but maybe I just missed it. But anyway. 
Um, so Jackson hasn't practiced since the injury, missing his 10th straight session on Wednesday as the Ravens prepare for a Sunday night game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. According to the source, Jackson's time frame to return isn't any different from most players who suffer knee sprains, though a few have come back in three weeks. Uh, the source said Ravens were hopeful Jackson would return for the Atlanta or Pittsburgh games, but team doctors were more concerned about Jackson because of the position he plays and also because he is a mobile quarterback. Even after missing nearly four games, Jackson still leads the Ravens in rushing on 764 yards on 112 carries. I mean, that's that's a whole other topic right there. <laughs> but anyway, and we, we're getting to the end of it now. He said, according to the source, Jackson has been at all his mandatory rehabilitation sessions. Uh, now, see, that... Again, he continues to repeat it. So he continues to let people know, hey, J Jackson's been there. Lamar's been there. Contrary to what I led you to believe previously, Lamar has been there. It's, it's really weird. Uh, and it says that was not the case last season when he missed several after he suffered a bone bruise in his ankle and missed the Ravens' final four games on their way to finishing 8-9 and nine and missing the playoffs. <laughs> he had to make sure he got that in there, boy. <laughs> Well, he said, he said, he said I, I'm, hey, I, look, I'm, I'm, I know I'm making a turnaround. I know I'm making a change, but I got, I got to get this in there. But it's okay. If it's true, okay. He said, the source said Jackson will probably undergo another MRI before he's allowed to practice. Okay. That makes sense. Now, nope. Then it takes another turn. He said, because he failed to return from an injury a year ago, there was speculation Jackson had adopted a similar strategy this year and missed rehabilitation sessions with the training staff. There was also concern that his failed negotiations on a long-term contract, the number, 230, the number 32 overall pick in the 2018 draft, is playing under his fifth-year option, worth 23 mil after he and the Ravens failed to reach an agreement on an extension before Jackson's uh, self-imposed week one deadline was a factor. So... He's saying basically he's saying he there was since last year he didn't call, he didn't return from the injury there was speculation that he was missing uh, the rehabilitation sessions with the training staff and he said that uh, there was also concern that his failed contracts his failed contract the the, yeah, the whole contract talks that since they failed that that was all a factor so it, it seemed like he tried to sort of slip in a, an apology without saying I'm sorry. Because, again, he, he's saying, uh, well, there was speculation. And, and, and it's like, oh, okay. Okay. But I don't know, man. This, again, it's just weird. Like, it's weird. Um, now, this, whatever's going on with this, oh, okay. We, we just got to wait and see. And, and I mean, that, that's been... That's really my motto with so much. Oh, we just got to wait and see. Because um, I could think one thing. Y'all could think one thing. We could think one thing. Other people could think one thing. Legally, we could all think what we're going to think. But we, we just got to wait and see. Now, um, even if you remove all of this, you remove all this Mike Preston stuff that, that's happened this past week, things are still very... Interesting with the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. Um, and again, I, I continue to tell you, continue to pay attention. Because even even though this article was sort of a backtrack, he was like, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Hey, OK, well, no, no. Lamar's been there. Lamar's been there. Even though it, it was a backtrack, he's still throwing some stuff. He's still throwing that stuff like, hey, I, I'm trying. Hey, look, 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 Lamar. hey, look, what, remember what happened last year? Don't forget. Just again, like I said in yesterday's video, pay attention. Just, just pay attention. Pay attention to these articles. Pay attention to these report. Pay attention to this stuff. Cause again, they they want they want to paint Lamar a certain way. They want to paint him a certain way. So we'll see how this whole thing works itself out, man. We're gonna see. Um, I've continued to say it, uh, and I, I'll say it again. Um, that because I, I know a lot of people have questioned, oh, well, Lamar should sit out the, the rest of the season. Now, Lamar, he's going to get paid regardless um, if, if he chose to sit out the rest of the season, but I, I don't feel like he should. And I, I, I never felt like he would want to sit out the rest of the season um, because, and again, the same thing I said, I've been saying, I, I don't feel like he would want to sit out the rest of the season because he would want to try to finish what he started. 
Like again, the the in the rate if the Ravens were out of the playoffs, then I could see Lamar considering it. Like, oh, uh, what, what am I come back there for? Season's over. You know what? I'ma just chill, y'all boys. Y- y'all got it from here. I- I'll get fully healthy. I'll get fully recovered. But and even in that case, he'll probably still want to even come back and play. But with the Ravens, with the situation, and this was even before we've been saying this before they even clinched the playoff spot. But I'm saying the the, the fact that they were so close to get into the playoffs. I just I, I never felt like Lamar would want to sit out. I never felt like he want to sit out. Of course you're gonna you're gonna want to get back in and, and get back in and play. Cause again you want to try to get as far as you could possibly go. And I know like a lot of us, including myself, I don't feel like this is a Super Bowl team. I don't. But I I, w- I would love I, I'm glad they make it, they made the playoffs. I, I I would hey y'all Ravens prove me wrong. Hey <laughs> prove prove me wrong. If you prove me wrong, I ain't got no problem with it. Do it. Prove me wrong. Prove a lot of us wrong. But okay, cool. I ain't gonna be mad. <laughs> Trust me, I ain't gonna be mad. I would love to be wrong. But I just for him to sit out, especially at this point, the way the way stuff is, the where the Ravens are sitting at right now. Nah, it, it wouldn't make any sense to me for him to sit out. Now I can understand uh, if it was negotiations or somebody said he wasn't negotiating. But if it was just a respect factor too. Like, no, y'all, y'all need to respect me, man. That's what I say. I don't know if, if 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 he had a conversation with the Ravens or something, and something changed. But it just for him to sit out, it will be better. Cause again, they they know what it's like without him. I know people have brought that up. Like, oh, maybe Lamar trying to prove a point to the Ravens. Like, hey, you you need me. <laughs> they know they know that they need him. Oh, they know they know that all right. Cause things things surely ain't the same. Ooh. But shout out to Tyler Huntley though. Ain't, ain't nobody knocking Tyler Huntley, but they just two different quarterbacks. One's a starter, one's a backup. But um, yeah, man, we'll again, we'll we'll see how this thing shakes itself out, man. We'll see uh what the next step uh it is in the next episode of as the Lamar Jackson Ravens world turns. Um, cause this it's just and really the only way like the only way. And we said this before a long time ago, too. The only way that all this stuff is going to come to an end is when a contract is signed or Lamar Jackson is somewhere else. That's it. That is it. That is literally the only way. The only way. That's it. This is going to be ongoing, man. It's Again, it's the game within the game. The game within the game. And that is the only way that anything will possibly, well, it'll, it'll be done. That's it. Because those are the only two conclusions. That's it. Those are the only two conclusions. Nothing else is a conclusion. Everything else is an ongoing thing. They franchise tag Lamar. That's an ongoing thing. They franchise tag Lamar again. That's an ongoing thing. That's not a, a settlement. That's not a conclusion. But if they paid Lamar, all right. After all the stuff they went through, they paid Lamar. That's it, 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 it's, it's, it's concluded. It's done. Or after all the stuff they went through, they traded Lamar. That would be unfortunate, but that would be a conclusion. That would be the settlement to everything. So this stuff is going to continue. This is not going to be the last time something like this happens. Trust me, and y- y'all know already, y- I ain't even got to say nothing, y'all know already that this ain't going to be the last time something like this happens. It's not. You're going to continue to hear stuff like this. You, I, I, I promise you, I promise you, you will continue to hear stuff like this. You're going to continue to hear, have people write this stuff, go on podcasts and stuff, say this and all that. It's going to keep happening. This, is, this ain't going to be a one and done. No. Because if, if, if something like this would have been one and done, then the, the first time somebody did it, it would have been done back then. But it's been an ongoing thing, especially this whole year. Especially this whole year. So I, I said it before, and I'll continue to say it again. Pay attention. Pay attention. Because one thing I appreciate, so many of y'all have been seeing stuff for yourselves. So many of y'all have been seeing stuff. So many of y'all have been noticing stuff like, whoa. Why, what, but why would he, oh, he said, hey, what, what kind of report is it? Oh, what are they trying to do? Mm, oh, I see. What, y'all see it. 
and I know y'all see it, cause especially because I done had so many conversations with so many of y'all about this stuff. And, and y'all bring stuff to my attention. So I know y'all see it. So just keep watching out for it, man, because it ain't going nowhere yet uh, until there's a conclusion. So will a conclusion happen this off season? We'll see. We'll see. But will it continue to get dragged out? Let's see. And then one, one more thing. Even after the conclusion, after whatever it ends up being, there's still going to be more of all of this. Because whatever happens, people will have to prove that the right decision was made. Whatever happens, whether he stays, whether he's gone, people will have to prove that the right decision was made. So, yeah, y'all got it, though. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all so much. <sighs> we out, man.